be extremely challenging. We offer safe, efficient, and comfortable solutions that are customized to your needs. In this expert talk, we'll be looking at slipway and stern entry systems. Joining us virtually from Nestun near Bergen in Norway, I'm very pleased to welcome our expert, Torstein Svane. So hello to you, Torstein. Greetings from Lengau. Hi, Mariana. Thank you for the introduction and welcome, everyone. My name is uh, Torstein Svane and I represent Palfinger Marine in Norway, product line marine handling solutions. Today, I'm going to give you an introduction to Palfinger's unique slipway and stern entry systems and how Palfinger is shaping the future of boat and USV handling in demanding offshore conditions. All right. Well, I would like to start with a somewhat technical question. When should someone choose a Palfinger slipway system over a David based launch and recovery system and why? Well, here is why, Mariana. Even though Lars uh, systems that are David based have evolved significantly over the years, safe, efficient and reliable launch and recovery of watercrafts in harsh offshore conditions are still very difficult to achieve. The systems I'm about to show you today are specifically designed for safe operations of boats and USVs being deployed from mother vessels in offshore conditions. And our customer tells us that Palfinger slipway systems eliminate most of the typical challenges and risks related to boat handling offshore. So, if you're looking to enhance safety, flexibility, and the speed of your boat operations offshore, you don't want to miss this presentation. Let me begin by showing you what we call the Striel Barents Challenge. When the energy company Eni was planning a new support vessel for their brand new Goliath platform in the Barents Sea, they had very demanding safety requirements. Keep in mind that the, the Barents Sea is located well north of the Arctic Circle in Norway, one of the most inhospitable ocean areas in the world. So safety of operations was key. In order to provide the best possible rescue and recovery capacity, any wanted to take, wanted to take boat handling ca capabilities to the next level. So in order to win the contract for the slipway system or the large system, suppliers had to um, solve some very demanding and specific challenges. No use of hooks, wires, catching mechanisms, or free hanging loads were allowed or possible. And the system had to enable fast and safe launch and recovery of the vessel's daughter craft, night and day, and in up to sea state six. And in case of evacuation of the Goliath platform, the system also had to be able to recover a fully loaded freefall lifeboat weighing up to 30 tons, without any reconfiguration of the system. The system also had to be able to handle other crafts, again, without reconfiguration of the system, and the system had to be designed for single operator and allow easy and high cycle use. Palfinger accepted the challenge, and due to our unique expertise and experience, we were awarded the contract for supply of our slipway system to the support vessel Striel Barents. The Striel Barents was designed by VAD and is owned and operated by Simon Mekstar Shipping in Norway. So now let's visit the Striel Barents and watch a typical launch and recovery cycle using the Palfinger slipway system. Let's take a look.
Finger. That is indeed very, very impressive. Uh, Torsten, could you perhaps then point out some more of the system benefits in detail for our audience? Of course, Mariana. Let me quickly recap some of the key system benefits. First of all, safety of operations. Our slipway systems eliminate the need for lifting, hooking, mechanical connection, the use of painter lines or arrestor wires during launch and recovery operations. And that reduces the risk of accidents during operations significantly. But the system is also designed for comfortable and easy launch and recovery, even in harsh weather conditions. Secondly, it is a single operator system. There is no need for highly coordinated efforts from multiple crew members during launch and recovery operations. In fact, the system can be operated remotely by radio remote control, from the vessel's bridge, from deck, and even from the daughter craft itself. And all these elements combined gives you a slipway or a launch and recovery system that has a significantly higher operational envelope, flexibility, speed of operations and performance compared to a traditional launch and recovery system. And as we have eliminated the need for manual support and interaction from the boat crew itself, the system is perfect for launch and recovery of unmanned water, watercrafts. The system is very versatile. The quad wheel drive units you just saw in the video are self-adjusting and will automatically adapt to the hull shape of the boat coming into the slipway. And finally, it offers mission flexibility as we can offer modular and portable systems for easy mobilization and demobilization on demand. So as I understand, these are the standard solutions that you offer, but is it also possible to tailor these solutions to specialized customer needs? Of course, Mariana. In addition to more than 10 standardized slipway system configurations, Palfinger also deliver solutions that are tailored to the customer's specific vessel design and also to the customer's operational requirements. Next, I'm going to show you a slipway system that was specifically tailored to handle two OSIMS USVs from Atlas Electronic UK. The system was developed in close dialogue with Atlas Electronic, and the system enabled the, the mother vessel to launch two large USVs from the vessel's mission bay while the vessel is uh, sailing at low speed. Let's take a look.
like, wow, that video clearly showed the ability of fast and safe launch and recovery. But now I'm curious, Torstein, where does the journey continue to? What are the current and future trends when it comes to slipway and stern entry requirements? Or systems, rather. Well, Mariana, sales of PAL finger slipway system has increased significantly over the last five years. And our solutions are very well suited to meet tomorrow's trends and demands. And some of the global trends and demands we are seeing right now are more use of unmanned surface vehicles being deployed from naval vessels, increased need for fast and efficient launch of work boats, rescue boats, patrol boats, and high-speed interceptor crafts. But we also see increased interest in the following areas. Launch and recovery and multi-craft boat handling solutions for the cruise vessel segment. Portable solutions which can be mobilized and demobilized on demand. Launch and recovery solutions for large and heavy crafts up to 40 tons and systems for open deck installation or for retrofit on existing vessels. And finally, also launch and recovery solutions for land-based installations. Torsten, thank you so much for your presentation, but don't go anywhere because we do have a couple of questions that were sent in by our customers. And uh, if you don't mind, I would just uh, ask you the first question straight away. Uh, someone sure. wrote to us, uh, what kind of preparations would you need to carry out before you can operate a different boat with the slipway system? So Torstein, what would you answer? Actually, uh, Mariana, no preparation, uh, preparations are needed. The quad wheel drive units are self-adjusting and will automatically adapt to the hull shape of the boat entering the slipway system. Okay, thank you for that answer. We have another question. Uh, someone asked us, why is this system especially well-suited for USV handling? Torstein. Now that's a very good question, Mariana. Launching an unmanned surface vehicle is easy, but recovery of an unmanned craft with no one aboard the craft to assist with hooking is very difficult. So PAL finger slipway systems eliminate the need for reconnecting the USV to a lifting device on the mother vessel upon uh, return and recovery. And this allows the USV operator to simply drive the USV into the slipway and let the system gently and automatically dock the USV safely inside the boat garage, all by remote control. That's all the questions that we have. Torsten Schwane, Senior Sales Manager in Nestu, Norway. We thank you so very much for your presentation and for answering the questions. Thank you, Mariana. And before I end my presentation, I would like to invite all of you to contact Palfinger to discuss and explore how slipway systems can increase your vessel's mission flexibility and operational capabilities. So please don't hesitate to contact us if you have a question or if you have a challenge for us.